If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. Same intro, different story, another day. So in no way, shape, or form is this a video to try to cause any type of hate or anything like this to a certain specific community, but it is a video in which I will critique, have my own opinions, and specifically talk about the fact of how stories like this and many others that fall within the same lines seemingly don't get the light of day on social media or by mainstream media and let alone by the exact same community who these people are a part of a scottish man who identifies as transgender has been found guilty of raping two women and will be held in a women's prison for up to a month while awaiting sentencing adam graham 31 began identifying as a woman after he committed the offenses and now goes by isla bryson he has been referred to with feminine pronouns both in court and in uk media coverage and court documents had charged graham with raping the women the verdict was reached today by the jury and presiding judge lord scott remanded graham in custody until sentencing on february 28th in sterling it has been reported that Bryson will initially be held in a specialist unit at the all-female court in Vail Prison. During the trial, Graham was called vulnerable and the defending counsel argued that the, he was in no way a predatory male. Defending him at the High Court in Glasgow, lawyer Edward Targowski was heard comparing Graham to his victims, claiming that all three individuals involved in the case should be considered vulnerable, including the rapist. If you look at the circumstances, you do not have a predatory male, you have somebody who is vulnerable, he added. Targowski also leveraged Graham's self-declared transgender status in his defense, as reported by the Daily Mail, and told the court she is transitioning from male to female gender. If you accept that evidence that she is transitioning, that she is aiming to continue on that path to becoming female gender, that goes a long way to acquitting her of these charges. Giving evidence in his own defense on Monday, Bryson claimed to have known he was a woman from the age of just four years old and began taking female hormones two years ago when he was 29. He said that at the time of the first sock, he was struggling with his sexuality and having issues emotionally. The events that Graham has been found guilty of took place in class Bank in 2016 and in Drum Chappelle, Glasgow in 2019. He denied all charges and lodged special defenses claiming the events were consensual. The first event he said to have happened on September 16, 2016 in Clyde Bank. Graham reportedly pulled down the woman's clothing and restrained her. According to the woman, Graham told her not to disclose to anyone the details. In an attempt to secure her silence, Graham reportedly went on to threaten the victim's family in order to secure her silence. Three years later, on June 27, 2019, Graham raped the second woman at a Glasgow residence. After having engaged in consensual activity, the victim says Graham became violent and went after her. The court heard that Graham bit the victim, lay on top of her, and restrained her. In his closing speech to the court on Monday, advocate deputy John Keenan asserted that both accounts given by the women were credible and reliable, adding that in the 2016 incident, the accused was too strong and she couldn't push him off. She said no loudly on multiple occasions. Keenan continued to say that she was scared and sick to the stomach about what had gone on and that she was worried about her family on account of the threats Graham had made to her. Graham is the third Scottish transgender to make headlines in the past week. So here we are again with the exact same story and uh these things just seemingly just keep happening if i literally wanted to start making a page about this i, I realistically could with the amount of stories that are directly out there um again i'm just trying to figure out why is it that the supporters of these individuals why is it that they don't highlight or focus in on these stories right i could have sworn that things are supposed to be even when it deals with news right why is it that we only see quote unquote supposedly the bullying that's going on why is it that we only see the positive stories why aren't the negative stories ever being talked about because let me let me put it to you like this if it was somebody that was black no matter how positive the story is somebody would have still found a way to put a negative directly in there oh but he didn't finish school oh he didn't go to college 
oh, he was like this with his ex-girlfriend, you know, from 12 years ago. Oh, look at how he basically, you know, he might have a great business, but, you know, would you really buy this product from somebody who does not even really uh, uh, talk to their kids? Would you really buy it from somebody who had a horrible divorce over something that has nothing to do with the business? Right. They, they, they will list all of these things in order to drum up um, a situation in order to put a negative on a positive. Right. At, at, at no point in time in history have you literally had people just talk about black people positively. Right. Or just solely just talked about the bullying or whatever it is that black people went through and didn't list anything negative. Never at a point in history. But we have seen people list everything above, under, and to the left and the right of the sun negative about black people. We've seen them try to put black people in a position of, hey, you guys are bullies. You guys are this. You guys are victims. You guys are this. And then last but not least, maybe they might sit up there and say something good. Or better yet, if the good is highlighted, yet again, they'll find a way in order to demonize that light and to turn it dark. But magically, when it comes to this group here, they always find a way not to highlight this. I promise you, where 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 on mainstream media, where on um uh uh MSNBC, NBC, ABC, WXYZ, whatever television station that you got, where have you seen them talk about this story? Even if it does take place somewhere else around the world, it still has to do with the same community. Where have you seen them highlight and talk about a a a a, a, a series of stories, uh, de detailing the fact that this is a thing that consistently happens and takes place you have it and you won't because there's a certain type of narrative that people want to be spun there's a certain type of narrative that people want to specifically be out there um in order for a certain type of story to be told which is quote unquote right they are the good guys they don't do anything negative or wrong to anybody else. And the world is basically demonizing them and bullying them. Right? Pretty much, they're just all good. There is no negative, no bad, nothing. They were just, they've just, you know, magically showed up here on the planet and automatically everybody just decided to villainize them and pick on them. They just showed up here on the planet and then just magically the whole world just turned on them. They've magically been here for the duration of however long the earth has been here. And for whatever reason, people just decided to turn on them after all of the good that they've basically done. As if they're the Justice League. As if they're the Justice Society. It's crazy. It's a thousand percent crazy. Like I said before, for these stories not to get highlighted, that is, that's a red flag. That's a problem. Because the women here have to now deal with trauma. They have to deal with a variety of, of issues on top of the ones that they more than likely already got. And then the other thing that they did list was the fact that after reconsideration, the judge was like, oh, we're not going to put you in a, you know, a, a female prison. We're going to hold you in a male prison. And even after everything that transpired that we know transpired you will still have people stating oh no that's wrong um you're going against whatever the person feels that they are and how it is that they see themselves this is being you know this is giving off some type of phobia and all this other type of stuff and yada yada i'm like no 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 we're not doing this we're not doing this like i said this is why we need to start dealing with facts over feelings because this is like a society now where feelings override everything that is completely logical and for people to still try to advocate and try to say that yo um whoever this person is they should be where whatever they in a sense identify as that's where they should be no 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 that's just that's no like I said, like it's it's ridiculous. Like I said, I feel I feel so bad for those women. I feel so bad for those women that had to go through uh this whole thing here because it just should not have happened at all. 
but this is the society that we're in at this moment in time.